Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, mga Matibay Babies. Welcome to our Matibay Class. Ayan, STEM 002 Basic Calculus. We are now on our day... Uh, 18. 18. Okay. 18. I think that's already anti-derivatives, isn't yes. it? Yes, tapos na tayo sa derivatives. Anti-derivatives naman tayo. And of course, it is all about... Computing the anti-derivatives of exponential, logarithmic, and trigonometric functions. So, kung gatap lang, gatap pinag sabay sa mga kasi gatap lang. May exponential na, may logarithmic na, ayaw niyo to Miguel, nilagyan pa niya ng trigonometric functions. Okay? Okay, that is our module 18. So, tuloy-tuloy na natin our objectives. Of course, first is evaluate integrals of the form. Oh, yan. Integral of u all over u dx. Integral of derivative of u all over yeah. u dx. And, may kadugtong siya. And, may kadugtong pa siya. Oh, okay. Sige. And, second is compute the integral of logarithmic functions. And, of course, the third one is evaluate integrals involving trigonometric, trigonometric functions. functions. Okay. Yan ang objectives natin. Meron tayong note dito bago tayo mag-proceed sa solving. O, oh, yan ang ating magagamitin formulas. Ayan. Okay. So, integral... Yan ang ating mga magiging pamantayan. First is the integral of exponential functions and logarithmic functions. And second is the integral of trigonometric functions. So, later on, magbibigay tayo ng example. Ng okay. bawat isa. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yun. Yun. Tuloy na natin agad-agad sa examples natin. Go. Let's start our example number one. Ma'am Tintin, will you please read? Integral of x raised to 10. Take okay. note, yung symbol po na yan is binibasa siya na? Integral. Okay. Integral, integral of, of x raised to 10. 10. Sabi namin kanina, kung doon sa derivative is magma-minus 1 ka sa exponent, Dito po sa ating anti-derivative, magpa-plus 1 ka sa exponent. So, we have now x raised to the power of 10 plus, 10 plus 1, 1 is 11. 11. At sa anti-derivative, kung anong exponent mo, yun ang iyong magiging denominator. denominator. Tapos lalagyan mo lang siya ng plus C, C answer. Ang hirap. <laughs> so, yun na po yung... Sa okay, our next example is the integral of x raised to the power of 1 half. Again, when we say antiderivative, ang gagawin lang natin mga anak is plus, plus one, one kay sa exponent. exponent. Okay, so we have now x raised to one half plus, plus one. one. Isn't it? Yes. Okay, so magiging x okay, raised to the power of one half plus one is three halves. Three all over two. Sabi namin kanina, kung ano ang exponent, yun ang ating magiging denominator. Three halves Sorry. yan po. Three all over two. 2. Isn't it? What is the next? Okay? Kung itra-transpose natin yan mga anak, magiging square root of x raised to the power of 3. Okay? Again, meron tayong imaginary 2. Mas hindi na isulat yun. All over 3, all over 2. Since this is a fraction, gagawin natin fraction ang ating numerator. So, magiging square root of x cubed all over 1 divided by 3 all over 2. Fraction divided by fraction magiging cross multiply. 2 times square root of x cubed is obviously 2 square root of x cubed all over. 1 times 3 is equal to 3. Since antiderivative, lalagay tayo ng plus C final answer. Naintindihan ma muli na? Yes. Okay, let's have our example number 3. What is the integral of x raised to the power of 3? Again, ang gagawin natin is what? Negative 3 plus 1. Plus 1. That will become x raised to the power of negative 2. 2. Isn't it? Kung ano po? Ang exponent. Ang exponent yun din ang denominator. denominator. Okay, next. Ibababa natin. Since negative yan, ibababa natin. So, magiging 1 all, All over, over negative 2x raised to the power of 2. two. Plus, plus C. C. <laughs> pag binaba mo yung negative, magiging positive. Uh, kasi kapag binaba mo yan, magiging positive. positive na siya doon. Let's move on to the integral of a constant and power. Kanina power lang, ngayon may kasama ng constant. Baka mas mm. mahirap. Okay. So, paano ito basahin? We have integral of 3x squared. Take note mga anak na kapag meron na siyang kasamang constant, ilalabas. ilalabas muna natin si constant. 
sky integral sign. So, magkakaroon ka ng 3 integral of x squared. Ilalabas mo muna yung constant and then magpo-proceed ka na sa rule. process or sa rule. Magkakaroon ka ng plus 1. Tama? So, meron ka ng 3 integral of x cube at kung ano ang kanyang exponent, yun din ang kanyang magiging denominator. So, next, it is now 3x cube integral of 3 times x cube all over 3. So, kapag minultiply mo yan, 3x cube. Hindi, 3x cube yan ah. All over 3. Ika-cancel mo yung 3. Mm, Ika-cancel mo si 3. Since parehas lang naman sila. So, anong naiwan? x cube. It is equal to x cube plus c. Mm, parehas sila, kaya sila na-cancel. O, oh, yun lang yung number... Yun lang number 1. <laughs> Saan na? Oh, number 2. Next example, number 2, we have integral of negative 8 x raised to 2 third. Gaya ng process natin doon, ilabas muna natin si, take note, negative 8. eight. So, negative 8 integral of x to third plus 1. So, 2 third plus 1, 1 all over 1 yan. So, meron kang negative 8 integral of x raised to 5 third. 5 all over 3. Next, kung ano ang din, ang exponent, yun ang ating gagawing denominator. Tama? So, we have 5 all over 3. Next, since pwede mo pang isimplify yan, gaya ng ginawa ninyo kanina kay Sir Jason, isisimplify mo na natin siya. Dito na lang natin isulat. So, mayroon kang negative 8. Huwag mo siyang kalimutan. It can also be written cube as... Cube root of x raised to yes, 5. Yes, cube root of x raised to 5. Bakit siya naging cube root? Dahil 3 po yung nandyan. Kaya cube root. All, all over, over... 5 all over 5 3. All over 3. Next Multiply. step... Multiply mo muna, ma'am. Negative ah, 8. Ah, sorry. We have integral of... Yung 8, huwag natin kalimutan. Negative, negative 8, 8 times... Cube root. cube root of x raised to 5 all over... 5 all over 3. Pag minultiply mo yan, just simply copy. So, you have eight. negative 8 cube root of x raised to 5 all over 5 all over 3. Imaginary. Next, lahat ng whole number meron siyang imaginary denominator of 1. So, isulat natin siya as di na ka siya negative, negative eight, 8 cube root, cube root of, of x raised to 5, five all, over one. all over 1. Ang intense mo naman, sir. Divided by 5. All three. over 5, all over 3. Cross Let's multiplication multiply. inside, inside, outside, outside. Next, Negative 8 times 3. Negative 8 times 3 is negative, negative 24. 24. Copy. Copy. Cube root of x raised to 5 all over 1 times 5 is 5. five. Answer. Plus C. C. Final answer. Third example for constant and power. We have integral of 3 fifth x raised to 5. Same process, ilabas ang whole number, so you have 3 all over 5. Integral, unahin natin siya, x raised to 5 plus 1. So, pag nag plus 1 ka, we have 3 all over 5, integral of x raised to 6 all over 6. After nyan, imumultiply mo yung nandoon sa labas, so we have 3 all over 5 times x raised to 6 all over 6. It is equal to 3 times x raised to 6 is... 3x raised six. to 6 all over 5 times 6 is 30. 30. They are both divisible by 3. So, pag dinivide mo yan sa 3, mawawala yan, magkakaroon ka ng 1. Kahit wag mo nang isulat, x you have six. x raised to 6 all over 10, ten plus, c. plus c. Final answer. <laughs> okay, let's proceed with the last one, integral of sum and difference. Again, sum and difference plus minus magkasama na po siya. So, first step, himay-himayin natin isa-isa. Unahin muna natin si 3x squared. So, 3x squared, sabi natin magpa-plus 1, tama? So, magkakaroon ka ng 3x cubed all over. Kung ano ang exponent, yun din ang denominator. Next, negative 6x Sabi natin, may 1 yan, magkakaroon ka ng plus 1. Tama po? So, negative 6x, 6x squared. squared all, all over, over 2. 2. Next, plus, sorry, plus 5. Kapag constant yan, since antiderivative anti tayo, magmumultiply ka ng x. x. So, pag nagmultiply ka ng x, magkakaroon ka ng 5x. 5x. Let's simplify. 
3 divided by 3? 1. So, kahit huwag mo nang isulat, magkakaroon ka ng x cubed. Negative 6 divided by 2. Negative 3. Okay, negative 3 x is squared. Plus... Ano yun, ma'am? All over 1. Kasi 1 ang exponent. Ay, sorry, sorry. All over 1. So, kahit huwag mo nang isulat, tama po. Plus 5x plus c. Final answer. Okay, that's all for now, mga anak.